All right, I have two objects. Two objects. I'm going to put the objects into this thing of water. What predictions do you have about these objects? Uh, Beth. Why? This is a bouncy ball and a golf ball. Which one do you think will float? Okay. Why? So I'm sure other people think the bouncy ball is going to float. Why would you think it was going to float? Gotcha. Well, it's not a, it's it's a normal golf ball. It's not a trick golf ball. Other predictions about these two objects. I think the the golf ball will sink and the bounce ball will float because the the bounce ball has less density than the water. Yeah, it's made up like that rubber. What what is what 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 is density? Like that's a that's a that's a million dollar word that I'm not sure what it means. Are you serious? It's like oh, that's just a fancy way of me saying it's a fancy word. What, what do you mean by it? Well, the it's like a weight. It's like a what? Non, go ahead. It's like the density is um, how hard the object is. Like the all the molecules inside, how packed it is, or and if it's like. So now wait, well, wait a minute. How does that explain which one of these will float? Because what? Okay. Uh, Esther. Gotcha, what were you going to say? That's pretty much what I was going to say. Okay. Now, I'm going to put your ideas to the test. <laughs> now, now, hold on, hold on. Why do you assume that you're wrong already? <laughs> gotcha. Now, irregardless of which one you think is going to float, what I want you to focus on is why you think it will float. Selena, what were you going to add? I think they might float because the golf ball is made up to float. Blake? Golf ball will not float because you know how when you go golfing and it lands yeah, the lake, you go to the bottom? Yeah. Oh, so Blake's bringing in something that she's experienced in the past and using it to judge this situation. Oh, uh -huh. what, what did you say? Bias. Okay, which isn't necessarily a problem. Sometimes that's a good thing because her prior experience might be... Correct. Correct. No, gotcha. The golf ball will sink because she is right about that whole golf thing. And if you throw a tennis ball in the water, it'll like blow up. The tennis ball like light. Well, I don't, I don't have a tennis ball. Yeah, but so let, let me ask you this. Okay, now hold on. It seems like you guys have pretty good evidence as to why the golf ball is going to sink, but I'm wondering, a lot of you think the uh, bouncy ball is going to float. What reason do you have for it floating? Danielle? Because it's uh, What do you mean by lighter? It doesn't weigh too much. Okay. Like. Okay. Uh, Cole, what were you going to say? The, the what material? Oh. <laughs> like, like Blake, seriously, she's freaking out. Every two seconds, you're going to put a in the water. Just drop it. The golf ball is going the water. The golf ball Oh, yeah. All right, so now the uh, rubber one floated, or the bouncy ball, whatever you want to call it, floated, and the golf ball sank. How do we explain that? Because it's not about whether or not you can get the, that right. It's about can you explain it. Yeah. Brianna. Uh, because, like, the bounce ball, like, bounces. So, like, I don't know, it just, like, comes back. Like, it, like, goes down and makes me go. And, like, the golf ball. Yeah, it does. But it is the bouncy ball.
swim. What did you say? The bouncy ball knows how to swim. All right. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on. People, you got to listen to each other. The bouncy ball is like made of, of like a lighter substance. So. All right, this, this idea of lightness keeps coming up again and again. And so what I want you to think about is that we could, we could actually measure the lightness of this. How would you measure how heavy these are? Oh. Now, there's something I want you to write down. In science, we don't use weight. We use mass. And so I'm not going to weigh these objects. I am going to mass them. And I know that sounds weird, but that's what it is. I'm going to mass them, not weigh them. And I'll talk, you'll learn about why that's a difference in high school probably. If you really want to know, come talk to me before or after school. But there is a very good reason why it's mass and not weight. Can we Google it? Inside the Google, isn't there like rubber bands? Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's like a little rubber ball in the middle and then rubber bands type things on the outside and then like a, a gray shell and then the white shell. Are you serious? All right. So the mass of the golf ball is 1.615 grams, not pounds, grams. 1.615. And so what are your predictions about the mass of the bouncy ball? 0 0.8. Uh, more or less. less. One. One hundred. Less. Okay. More. 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 Of course, that's not going to work. 1.44 grams. So the bouncy ball has less mass. So if I were to write something up here, which I need a marker, there it is, I would write uh, less mass equals what? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to show you two more objects. I have a paper clip, a styrofoam ball. Okay, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test our mass thing. So the mass of the paper clip but it's a smaller size, though. is 0 .015. The mass of the styrofoam is 0 .04. So the styrofoam has more mass. But it's uh, hold on a second. Based on what you wrote up here, what predictions would you make about the styrofoam in the paper clip? Daniela. But the ball had more mass. There's always an exception to air. You also have to prove it's wrong. Brianna. I think the paper clip and the styrofoam ball are similar because they have the same mass. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Based on what's written on the board. What prediction would you have to make? Then the styrofoam ball would sink, and then the paper clip would float. Uh, okay, and of course, we all know the paper clip sinks and the styrofoam floats. So that is not completely right. What else could we add, or what? What's the difference between these two? None. So um, if I said more size equals what? More size equals. I don't think more size is like yeah, I don't know. More solid. How do I finish it? I don't. I just change my mind. I don't. Oh, okay. Got. Gotcha. I think more of a solid object would work better because the paper clip had like a big circle in the middle and the what's it called? The circle. Okay, so more solid equals. I'm hearing no's. More solid equals. Oh, yeah, because you want to go to lunch. Yeah, because if we make it. How do I finish this? No, More solid we equals. Told that we can only be 99.9% sure. Uh, Let's just stick with the less Hey, more. you're wasting more time than I am. How are we going to finish this? <coughs> Better at floating. More solid equals more floating? No, what? Less float. Less float. Okay, so more solid equals. Let's float. We will finish this after lunch. Line up.